some precious steps up with a big time 18 points tonight. What can yeah. you say about the way that everybody on this team is stepping up right now? Yeah, um, it's a collective effort. And now we have got a couple guys out, and so it's not just gonna be one guy, it's gonna be all everyone just stepping up and um, be the right personnel and the right mindset to do that. So, I mean, everyone's pitching in and I'm most supportive we're winning, so. 14 and two, speaking of the winning, in the month of January, it's the first time a Knicks team has done that since 1994. Mm -hmm. This goes down as one of the best months in Knicks history. When you take a look at what you guys have been able to do over the course of the month, where do you see the most growth? Um, just in our depth, like I said, now we have a uh, couple guys out and so um when people are called upon you know they're ready to go you know that just goes to work their work ethic you know every single day coming in doing the work you know making sure that they're ready to go you know, whether they're playing three minutes or 30 you know everyone has that mindset just be ready you know yeah we have a, a good collection of guys who think that way so um yeah everyone's just ready to go when the numbers club Julian, is it is it i don't know if you've been explicitly asked this yet i don't remember but is it is it crazy to you to think that you're now now that josh is starting but like that you're in a starting lineup of a good NBA team with Josh and, and Dante. Is that wild to you? Oh uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, every now and then I'll think about um, you know, all of us like back at school and um, you know, just you know, competing in practice, not getting after it, you know, uh, having little mini fights you know, back then. And then um, to see where we are now, it's really special. So um, yeah, it's really cool to see. You don't really see it too often, if ever, but um, you know, hearing the starting lineup saying from Villanova, from Villanova, and from Villanova, it's uh, it's pretty cool. And Josh, Josh had his first career triple double tonight. And what, what what's he given that starting lineup since he's entered? Uh, cardio. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, cardio. Facts. Tim said that he knew that Dante was going to have a good shooting season because he got a chance to see the work that he puts in the gym. Pretty much once he signed the deal, he was able to get in. W what have you seen from Dante maybe behind the scenes? And your relationship with him goes back way back. Just w what have you seen from him behind the scenes about the work that he puts in that would allow him to hit nine yeah, threes tonight? His work, I think, has, uh, has been consistent. It's get, it gets better and better every single year. Um, you know, he's growing as a player. And then um, just... The, the confidence he has, no matter what the situation is, you know, comes from his work ethic. So, um, you know, seeing that is special. And um, like, I, like I said before, it's really cool seeing like guys used to work with, you know, almost eight, seven years ago, whatever it was, and seeing where we are now, it's really cool. When this month started, you guys, you know, had lost a couple of in December. You just made a pretty big trade. Do you see something like this, this happening so fast? Uh, no, uh, no, but I. I knew that we were on a, a trajectory to go forward, yep. now go upward. And so, um, what I, I'll be lying if I said I saw this coming, but I think one thing I do know is that we're going to continue to get better every single day. And that's what we've been able to do. Mm -hmm. Dante for scoring in the last couple of nights. Yeah, no, when he's you know, shooting the ball like that, I mean, it's, it's great. But uh, when he's in the restricted area, um, the ball doesn't really go through the hoop just hits the outside of it you know it's a little <laughs> rim is a little tight so uh yeah make sure you just stays out outside the restricted area so i'll give that a one out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he gets him back one out of ten it's been good man it's been, it's been good um really obviously you know just trying to be a little more aggressive a little bit more of a um, decision maker playmaker um you know uh, at some point gotta you know, make a shot, you know, hopefully I do that before Price comes back and, um, you know, go from there. Um, we're, do, we're, we're, we're playing well, um, we're playing to our strengths. We are, you know, just, just, just having good vibes. I, I think that's the biggest thing where, um, you know, playing within ourselves. And, um, you know, we're just having fun. I think the biggest thing, obviously. Winning is fun, obviously, but, you know, you know we're having success as, as a team, but also as an individual. So that's always, you know, that's always great. And you got just high character guys. Um, you know, it's always, always fun. The uh, Fred was asking Jalen, what's it like to have you and Jalen and Dante in the starting lineup in the NBA? Oh, it's cool, man. It's, it's dope. It's something that obviously we, um, Never really thought about. Obviously, we, you know, we're in countless lineups um, together at Nova, but to have something like that where um, 
guys that you shared the court with for I don't know how many games, you know, in college and just seeing the progression of um, all of us individually, it, it, it's really cool to see. I think the, the first time that we we did it was the, the D, first DC game um, in DC. And it was funny because the announcer was like, uh, I forgot who was last. He was like, and also from Villanova. <laughs> so, um, so it was just cool, but uh, it's, uh, it's definitely dope. What was it like to hear we want Taj chance? I wanted Taj too. I played 42. Yeah, I, I, I was out there about to start begging for Taj also. Man. Oh, nah, man. It's, it's cool to have OG back, and, um, you know, we're going to get him out there.